Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply license for VCS. Now, VCS comes into two flavor: VCS Control uh, Expressway uh, C or VCS uh, Expressway, or often known as Expressway Dash E. Here I have two VCS server that are currently running. As you can see, uh, both are exactly the same. Uh, we have VC, uh, video control server, con uh, sorry, video communication server control, and another video communication server control. So basically, what you do, you install um, two VCS using the same image. When you apply the license, the license will decide the role of the server. But before we do that, what we want to do is I'm, I'm going to configure this particular server as a control. So I'm going to go to the system menu, administration, and I'm going to change, uh, define a name. So we call it a VCS, uh, let's say E, sorry, control C. Um, anything else you may, you may want to uh, customize it, like for example, the range of the port, uh, session timeout. Uh, feel free to do so, but we're going to keep it very simple for now. Uh, save. We'll do the same thing for the next server. V this is going to be VCS. VCS E Express. Uh, going back to the control, I'm going to uh, define some DNS related settings. For example, the host name. Let's call it VCS, uh, VCS, C, domain name corp dot voice boot cam dot com, uh, DNS server one seventy two, sorry, uh, no one forty two one hundred sixty four fifty, and then we can customize more additional DNS related settings here. But we're gonna just keep it simple again on the VCS Expressway. Now VCS Expressway is supposed to be either on the DMZ or external uh, server. So we're just going to keep it uh, uh, empty for now because we have, a, we have not configured the external server yet. All right, so let's go to the VCS control. Uh, in this case, you'll notice where it says missing uh, release keys missing. Now you you have to obtain uh, the release key from uh, Cisco. So when you get the server installed, if you look at in the bottom right corner, it's called serial number. You need to give the serial number to Cisco or the licensing department, and they will generate what they call is a release key, uh, option key. So you can go to the option keys right here. You see the serial serial number. This gives you uh, like a demo kind of license what is going on right now now for my express way C uh, these are my keys so I'm going to copy that so let's see if this is going to work Okay, one of the release key has been accepted. We're gonna open, uh, define this one. Okay, tells me that my current active session, one media uh, reach session, encryption, internet working, and expressway series. I have expressway series active, and look at look at the name right here. Expressway C. It became from what it was a uh, VCS control, it became Expressway dash C. So once you apply the license, the name of this server becomes Cisco Expressway C. Uh, I'm going to apply the last one and this will give me the traversal call. And it tells me I got six media uh, rich media sessions. I got unlimited 
validity period and so and so okay tri number of traversal call six now obviously I those are the only license that I have been given by Cisco so now I need to restart the service so I can click on restart and this will then go ahead and restart the service so while this is taking place I'm gonna go to the Express and I'm going to apply the same thing on the edge so or Expressway E but Expressway E I have few more configuration here so I'm gonna go ahead and copy them make sure the license uh, number matches the server so maybe this will go to release key okay the release that was a release key so we're gonna copy the other traversal option key for the traversal has been added as you can see five traversal call I'm going to apply the turn turn relay we, again for the terminology all this stuff we can talk about that in our lecture own video so that is my 100 uh, 1800 turn uh, relays I will copy the VCS Expressway now take a look at this the name is still remain Cisco telepresence video communication server control I'm going to add this and look at now what happened Cisco telecommunication server expressway and it tells me how many registration I can have and how many calls so and so so a few more license key to apply okay it tells me the traversal server advanced networking is supported and the last one we're going to apply is this voila expressway series so on my license has been in effect, in effect so I'm going to go ahead and restart uh, the server I do not have any more license to apply okay so while that is happening let's go back to the VCS control It's still restarting so both server is going to go through restart and we should have a fully functional VCS server one with control one with expressway okay so I'm going to go ahead and log in now once I log in you can see that my IP address my uh, license option keys that are applied uh, if I log into and this is the VCS control expressway C and when I log into the other server, uh, you'll see uh, this is called Expressway E. So that's the de definition between the control and uh, Expressway. Remember, the Expressway is a server that is sitting on the edge of a network, either on DMZ or outside your firewall. And the control is sitting internal to your network and between the control and the expressway there will be a, what we call is a unified communication zone uh, which will be configured uh, in a later in the course all right so that's pretty much it for the licensing part and I will see you in the next lab